Hi, I'm Sarah from KnittingAnn.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a flower loom technique called double weaving. All of these flowers were made with the double weaving technique and I'm going to show you how to work each style of flower in this video. I'm going to start by showing you how to stitch a double woven center on a basic flower. I'm using a Studio 12 multi fleur loom and you can do this technique on absolutely any flower loom. If you want to use the same yarn that you've used to wind your loom just take it from the edge of the loom and you can start weaving with that. I'm going to use a different colour so I'm going to take these threads to the back of my work and tie them in a knot out of the way. If you don't know how to wind the yarn onto a flower loom check out my flower loom playlist and you'll find some videos there that show you how to do it. I've thread the ends of my yarn onto a needle and I'm just pushing them through to the back and out of the way so that I can weave without worrying about whether I should weave over them. You can tie those in a knot on the back just loosely out of the way while you're weaving. To stitch your center take a piece of yarn. I usually use about three feet as my standard length. I don't always use it all but it's usually enough. Thread that onto a needle. Now from the back of your work, bring the needle up between two petals, it doesn't matter which two. And then go down between the next two petals. You can tie this first stitch in a knot if you want to. I used to and I don't do that anymore. I find that it's secure enough once it's darned in on the back of the work. Now come up between the next two petals and then down in the next space between the petals. Keep doing that all the way around. Up between the petals. Down between the next set of petals. I'm going to do that all the way around and then I'm going to show you how to start the next round of weaving. I'm just about to work the very last stitch of this round. Now you can see I've gone all the way around once, I finished here. If I come back up in the next gap I'm going to be stitching over the same petals and I don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to skip the next gap and come up here. So I would normally be coming up here. I'm going to miss that one and come up here. And then I can stitch all the way around as I did before. And I'll be stitching all the petals that I missed last time. I've worked all the way around twice so that each petal has one stitch over it. With this style of weaving I go around a total of four times so this is twice. I would do it twice more just to make sure that they're completely secure. So I finished by putting the needle down through this gap between these two petals. I'm going to miss the next one just like I did when I started this round and then come up over here. That way I'm stitching on the same set of petals as I did the very first time. I'm going to go around twice more and then take the flower off the loom and darn the ends in securely on the back and that will be finished. I'll just show you what that looks like. Here's my finished flower. Another technique that you can work with this style of weaving is to weave all the way out to the edges. You can work this on any loom using just the center pegs 
or on any loom that only has a single row of pegs. You can use flat homemade looms. I'll give you a link to my tutorial on making this loom in the video description. You can also use a knitwit style loom with the spikes that come out or one of these it's normally known as a daisy winder. This is another style of flower loom that you can use to weave to the edges. This is the Hamanaka flower motif card and I'll give you a link to where I bought these in the video description. When you weave all the way out to the edge you might want to change colours or you might need to join another piece of yarn so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm up to the very last stitch in this round and if I would go and keep weaving with the same colour I would go over the last stitch and then under two in order to come up in the correct place to start the next round. Just as I showed you before it's exactly the same technique. But to change colours instead of doing that I'm going to put this yarn over the last stitch and down to the back. To start my next colour I'm bringing the yarn up through exactly the same spot. To finish the last round I went down through this space and to start my next colour I'm coming up. So instead of missing these two stitches and starting here I'm starting on the by going over the very first stitch of the round and now I would continue weaving as I showed you earlier, all the way around, changing the rounds at the end just as I showed you before. To finish off this style of flower you need to make sure to work one round of single weaving which means to go under one side of a petal and then over the other side, under one side and over the other, so that each petal is locked onto your weaving and can't pull out and then you darn the ends in on the back and you're done. Another style of flower that you can make using this technique is one with vertical stripes. To do this you change the colour on each round so the first round would be brown, the next one red, the third would be brown, the next one red and so on and this creates the vertical stripes. There's no need to cut the yarn between the rounds, just bring it up from the previous round that you used it on. The final style of flower that I'm going to show you using double weaving is a spiral. Spiral flowers are woven in exactly the same way as the other double woven flowers. The only difference is the way that you start each round. I'm working the last stitch of this round I'm going over the last stitch. Now instead of going under two full petals I'm going to go under one and a half. For the next round I'm going to go over two threads and then under two threads just as I did on the last round but now they become half of one petal and half of the next petal. So instead of weaving under and over like this I'm going to go through the centre of one petal and come up through the centre of the next petal. And that creates the spiral design. I'll show you that again. I've come up through the centre of the petal. I'm still going over one, two threads as I did before. But I'm coming up through the centre of the petal instead. Now I'm going to work this complete round and then show you how to do the next round. I'm just going to work the last stitch of this round under this petal and then I'm going to go under three strands just as I did at the end of the last round. One half petal and one full petal. 
and then I'm in the right spot to start weaving the next round which will be once again over one complete petal and under one complete petal over one complete petal and under when you're weaving all the way out to the edge on this style of flower make sure to finish with one of the rounds where you work in the middle of each petal and that will stop the petals from slipping out of your weaving and then down the ends in the back and you're finished <laughs>